Conservative Democrat Henry Cuellar, who's a congressman from Texas, uh, and also happens to be anti-choice, pro-guns, uh, and has voted along with Trump and the Republicans more than he has with Democrats, is very upset. Very upset at the criticism he's been getting from progressive members of his party. Uh, so after the primaries took place in Texas, he feels free now, free enough to speak to Axios and tell him, tell them what he thinks about the progressive wing of the Democratic Party. Cuellar, a South Texas Democrat who narrowly survived a bruising primary challenge this month, lashed out at AOC and other progressives, insisting it's time for his party to let me be me. So let's discuss just briefly what it means to be Henry Cuellar, okay? A man who was recently raided, both his home and his office, by the FBI because of his shady dealings with a foreign government, Azerbaijan to be specific. That's who Henry Cuellar is, but don't talk about it. You just let him be him and don't cr criticize him for that kind of corruption and possible criminality. It would be so wrong to do so. Henry Cuellar is the man who uh, was supported by and endorsed by Democratic leadership after the Roe reversal leak happened prior to it officially being the ruling of the Supreme Court. And uh, he's anti-choice, is not in favor of giving women the right to make decisions about their own bodies. That's who Henry Cuellar is. Henry, we're just talking about who you are. We're just talking about who you are. That's, I mean, we're just telling our audience what a massive piece of you are. Is, is that so wrong? Progressives are the problem, really? But wait a minute, who's stopping you from being you? Did anyone tackle you before a vote? No, you're allowed to vote and you have voted right wing in all those instances. You, he voted to defund Planned Parenthood, he's total Republican, right? So, and nobody stopped him, not only did they not stop him, the Speaker of the House, the head of the Democratic Party in the House, Nancy Pelosi, went and actively campaigned for him. James Clyburn, the House Whip, the number three Democrat in the House, actively campaigned for Cuellar. Who the hell is stopping you? What he means is, why don't you have them shut up already? Don't be so mean to me. Yeah, no, the progressives, I get to vote any way I want. I get 100% of Democratic leadership support. I get funding from the Democrats. That's right. But why are they allowing these young women to talk? Why don't they shut them up and make sure that no progressive is ever allowed to say anything in, in, in or oppose me in all my right wing votes. That's what he means by let me be me. Cuellar said progressives demands for the party to move left on immigration, God forbid, gun rights, God forbid, and other issues risk big losses in November and beyond. Let's pause for a second, pause. You are now the, yes, he's the incumbent, he won the primary again, very, very close race by the way, just literally a, a couple hundred votes uh, made the difference. Mm -hmm. uh, Jessica Cisneros would have been a far better candidate because she's not, uh, a, she doesn't have the problem of a FBI raid hanging over her head in the general. And this man is sitting there telling us what the best strategy is to keep Democrats in, in power. Are you kidding me right now? You. You are a liability to the Democratic Party, but since you're corrupt, much like Democratic leadership, they decided to endorse you, support you, promote you, knowing that you're a liability, knowing that the Republican who's running against you is gonna use that FBI raid against you, as he should. It would be political malpractice not to. Yeah, and if and when he loses that race, what will, how will Washington react? Will they say, "Oh, it turns out going right wing didn't work at all. It turns out going corrupt didn't work at all. No, MSNBC will hire him and have everybody, he'll tell everybody how to win elections after he lost his. You think, come on, Jake, that's hyperbole. No, that's literally what they did with Claire McCaskill. Yep. She ran as a Republican light, got her ass handed to her when she could have easily won that race. And then MSNBC hired her to tell us how to win elections. And then uh, the rest of Washington will tell us that Nancy Pelosi was a master legislator. But to be fair to them on that one, well, that is if there is a fair point there. Because either way, the Republicans hold that seat, and that's what Nancy Pelosi wants. Yeah. Now, uh, and look, keep in mind, they love, the, the mainstream Democratic Party loves to install all these excuses within the system so they can tell us why they failed to accomplish a damn thing. So when Obama had a supermajority in the Senate, and could have codified Roe v. Wade, 
to ensure that even if the Supreme Court overturns Roe, we would still have our reproductive rights intact. He uh, decided to not make it a legislative priority. And the excuse that we hear now from people like Nancy Pelosi and other establishment Democrats is, well, what could he do? Yes, he had a super majority, meaning that the legislative filibuster wasn't a problem. They had enough Democrats, but there were a lot of conservative Democrats. You know, the kind of conservative Democrats that we endorse, support, and promote above progressives. Because we like to have those convenient excuses. We're not here to represent you. We're not here to look out for you. We're not here to protect you. We're not here to fight for you. The corporate Democrats are just there to carry out the wishes of corporate America and to enrich themselves. That is all they do, period. The bipartisan infrastructure bill was a corporate giveaway, a corporate handout. That's the reason why it passed. And that is the only thing that they can turn to, to, to cite an accomplishment under the Biden administration. They're pathetic, they're embarrassing, they don't represent us. And if moderate Democrat voters are watching this and their feelings are hurt, I love your tears. I hope you cry more because you're part of the problem. You have supported a system. People say it's a duopoly, it's not a duop duopoly. We only have Republicans controlling this country. Which is why today, even with Democrats in charge, it feels like we have Republicans in charge. Our rights have been rolled back under Democratic leadership. And you're part of the problem. Yeah, anybody who votes for a moderate Democrat is basically voting for a Republican. And then the press has the temerity to paint progressives as not Democratic enough. But we actually are in favor of Democratic positions, and the corporate Democrats are against Democratic positions. Exactly. They're like, yeah, but they, no, no, we're gonna call them more Democratic. Wait, we wanna fight Republicans. So let me go to graphic seven to prove my case. So in the 115th Congress, Cuellar voted with Trump 69% of the time, according to 538. Well, if you vote with Trump seven out of 10 times, you might be a Republican, okay? And then they say, no, he's the better Democrat. In fact, he says that, I'm gonna go to graphic three. So in graphic three, as he's talking to Axios, he says, of course, I have a place in the Democratic Party. The question is, do those people have a place in the Democratic Party, referring to AOC and the Justice Democrats? So if you vote for with Trump seven out of 10 times, he says, then the Democratic Party is perfect for you. But if you're opposing Trump and you're opposing the right wing, then no, the Democratic Party has no place for you and you should be banished. Okay, well, unfortunately, He's fairly accurate about how Democratic leadership feels. That's exactly why they supported him instead of the progressive. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, we really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air, so all that all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.